In uh, health news now, a spike in uh, respiratory viruses in children causing long lines at local doctor's offices. One pediatric group is trying to make sure the sickest patients don't have to wait to be seen. News on ABC's Noelle McLaren explains how. An influx of early influenza cases and raging rates of RSV. Pediatric offices across the capital region are getting unprecedented demands for appointments. Children are really sick right now. I, I can't say if it's worse, but it's a heavy season. Heavy enough to prompt community care pediatrics offices in Clifton Park, Malta, and Saratoga to send out this email entitled, Should My Child Be Seen? It says in part, quote, we hear your frustration and are trying our best. As always, our main goal is to encourage and empower you to manage childhood illnesses as much as possible at home, as so much of what we do in the office is reassurance. Also, we want to be sure we can provide appointments for our sickest patients. Barbara Quinn is a nurse practitioner at Community Care Pediatrics Office in Clifton Park. I think the goal of the letter was to weed out some illnesses that were pretty benign, general colds, general coughs. Quinn says children should always be seen if they have a fever over 100.4 for more than five completed days, severe pain, signs of dehydration, or if there's breathing concerns. She says the office's nurse triage line is a great tool for parents to gauge what level of care their kids may need, even if hold times are longer. But don't get discouraged. Reps with community care here tell me that it is always worth the wait to deal with your primary care physician or pediatrician. Even though you might have to wait to talk to that trainer, professional, I think that's important before going and sitting in a room with a bunch of sick people and having babies ill and surrounded by more illness um, if it is something that we could talk through with you at home and symptomatically manage. It's a season of sickness that's requiring patience from patients and medical professionals alike. In Clifton Park, Noelle McLaren, News 10, ABC.